What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another New World video. Today we're going to be talking about the truth about gear score and how you can actually get your gear score up once you hit 60. And this is going to be really, really important for you guys once you hit 60 because I need you guys to understand some very, very, very key things. I made some big mistakes where I thought that, you know, I just hit 60, you know, I get my PvP gear, I get my, you know, my legendary weapon quest done, and BAM! I'm like 560 gear score. And then all the stuff that I get in the game, because supposedly your gear is based on gear score, right? Supposedly that I would just get all these 560 drops and I would get a head start, and then I'd grind out 560 to 600 gear score, and I'd be good to go. It doesn't work that way. Uh, recently, uh, shout out to Dr. Lupo, big time YouTube creator. Um, he had interviewed the Amazon team and they had mentioned exactly how drops work and we're going to get into this. Now, instead of just kind of jumping on the train and sharing that information with you when it first dropped a few days ago, I wanted to make sure that we tested this thoroughly to make sure that it was accurate. So what that means is, damn D, why do you look so tired? It's because for the past two days, we've been going hard in all the elite zones from level 60 to 63, even some elite zones before 60, to see what the difference would be in terms of quality and drops and gear score rate when looking at all these numbers. And I'm gonna break this down as simple as possible. So how this works is each gear slot, right? As you guys can see here, has a gear score. Uh, if you guys are wondering why my character looks so colorful, it's because I made sure to dress up nice and pretty for you guys today. All right, you don't don't hate on my swag here, okay? <laughs> but each of these pieces has a gear score that totals to a total gear score here. Now, the mistake that I had was I thought that when I got my PvP gear, um, which I did, I grinded all, all my PvP gear in Great Cleave. I grinded out that legendary quest. It's not really a legendary weapon. It's actually just, you know, an epic weapon that's a 580 gear score. And then I also did the quest to get the necklace, which is part of the chain to, you know, start to get your weapon quest. So I thought at this point, since it raised my gear score average, that I would start to get gear that was close to this. But that's not how it works. Your gear score drops are based on your actual drops, not weapons or items that you get from quests. Not weapons or items that are traded not weapons or items that are crafted uh, to our utmost knowledge we've had a lot of crafters in our guild testing this but anything that's not a drop does not matter so when you get to 60 what happens is your gear score kind of defaults at 500 and then as you continue to get a drop let's say from my helmet uh, my gear score was 500 then I got a 501 helmet then the system recognizes that drop as now your watermark, and this is where the watermark term comes in, but basically your mark in the system is now 501. So it tells the system, all right, look, as I continue to kill monsters, you're probably gonna wanna give me helmets that are within the range of 501, 500 to 501. If I get a helmet that's 515, then my new helmet marker is 515, and it's gonna somehow give me a helmet in between 500 and 515, potentially even higher if I get lucky, right? You tracking, does that make sense? So the key thing though that you guys need to understand is that applies to every single piece of gear. So let's say you got all helmets and you went up to gear score 600, right? If you didn't get any other pieces of gear, armor, gloves, pants, boots, then these pieces of gear will stay rolling 500, 500, 500. So from what, from what we found, uh, from what we heard, and then from what we tested is, as you continually get more armor, so a 505 chest piece, 515 chest piece, 525 chest piece, you know, 505 glove, 510 uh, glove, 525 glove, 515 legs, 555 legs, then your gear score average for your drops will continually go up. So in order to do this, in order to successfully get your gear score up, then you're just going to have to get out there, kill some of the strongest baddies in the game, preferably 60 plus, 61, 62, 63. Elites are even better because they give you a higher chance of getting a higher quality piece of equipment. And then you can continue to have your gear score climb as you move through the game. Now this applies to all slots of gear. Um, <laughs> minus the shield, 
it applies to the shield too but basically your main weapon and your bottom weapon and it was so confusing to me because when i had all this crazy gear my gear score was like close to 560 and i was still getting the 505 uh on day one we tested this out or i tested this out uh, for the first iteration where i was just opening up elite chest and uh getting new pieces of equipment and then i noticed that my gear score was steadily starting to climb right i started at 505 and then before you knew it, I was starting to get 510s and then 515s, and which continued today. And then we're pushing up to 540 um, as we're you know starting to get into the 533s and the 525s, um, and continuing to push more and more and more. And once we realize this, it kind of changes the entire scope of the game. Because what we had thought before was like, all right, you get to 60, you get in these dungeons, you craft these tuning orbs, and then after you craft these tuning orbs, you just farm these dungeons over and over essentially um, until you get the big drops, and then it's like a big jumping gear. But what, how it's designed, and now that we're starting to understand this, is it's designed in a way for like the slow gain, right? Now, can you get lucky and get a 650 or, you know, or excuse me, a 550 or 600 piece? Absolutely. Uh, we had a guy get a piece of 600 gear score uh, weapon today, but it's designed in a way to be a continually small grind over as you pinnacle. And then there's a point in the game where you'll pinnacle and then the rest of it is crafted gear, legendary gear, and then the best gear you could possibly find. So what we're learning is that you want to get into the dungeons after you've went through the elite zones, farmed the stuff, sealed the portals in the world, you know, when we can finally seal the portals in Mirgard, by the way, get the best gear you can in the open world, and then eventually find yourself in the dungeon, you know, getting those, you know, crafting those legendary recipes or getting those best drops. Because you'll notice uh, as you guys go through the game that there are lesser variants of legendary weapons, right? So you can have a blue popsicle stick, right? Which then turns into a epic popsicle stick and then it turns into a snow cone when you get to legendary right and then the stats will scale accordingly as will the perks and the amount of perks that you can get so as you guys are going through this understand that you can go through this game and literally not touch any of the legendary quests or the pvp gear although i still do kind of recommend it because it's a nice start a nice segue into getting into the strongest monsters in the game fighting the strongest monsters in the game it's a really nice gear boost for pvp but as long as you understand that that uh, PvP gear, quest gear, has nothing to do with your actual gear score, regardless of what this number says down here. And then if you guys are struggling getting your gear score up, then you guys need to start farming the drops or grinding for the drops so you can get that incremental or the, those small increases in your gear score so then you can continue to hit progression. So from what I understand, also, you don't necessarily have to equip the pieces of gear, although I've been doing it just because FOMO. But from what I understand, you don't have to equip the pieces of gear. They just have to be in your inventory. Like as soon as they like register as a drop, it like marks your account, I guess, <laughs> as like Pedro has, you know, this amount of gear score. So we're going to give him within this range. It's also not guaranteed. Like just because I got 533 here, it doesn't mean that every single piece of gear that drops is going to be 533 or above. What it does mean though, however, is that now I have a chance to get an increased range of gear. So can I still get 500 gloves? Absolutely. But you'll start to see 500 gloves less and less as you start to see more and more higher tier gear. And this is why what's going to happen as you guys progress past 60s, you're going to start asking yourself when your friends say, hey man, you need this new sword or this new banjo that I'm just going to play for you? And your question is not going to be, what are the stats? <laughs> it's going to be, what's the gear score on the weapon? And then you're going to worry about what the stats are and everything else. Because in the, the attempt to get your gear score as high as you can um, before you start prepping and getting into the best gear in the game, like all the crazy legendaries and all that, you got to make sure that you're getting the best stuff possible so again i have to double down on my initial theory that what we're doing right now is preparing for future content the reason i say that as well is because i don't know if you guys have noticed but if you guys look at the map you guys remember your starting zones of windsward right cutlass keys first light you know monarch's bluff here when we first started here what do we have level 25 portals right easy clap but if you look here right windsward what level is this 45 portal all of a sudden, there are 45 level 45 portals that require Azos Staff Tier 3 in starter zones. So as time goes by, the corruption is increasing. 
the invasions are getting more and more powerful. We lost four building upgrades when we lost an invasion in uh, Windsward, guys. Or it, it's it's getting crazy. So I'm thinking that the ramp up with the corruption is to kind of tie into the story, which ha probably has to do with the fact that why we can't seal tier five portals yet. Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing. Because the more and more we start to find out information, the more I'm starting to see that maybe it's on purpose that we can't do the stuff with the Azoth 5 until they extend the story. Which means that we could be getting more content here soon. So, it's important that we approach this uh, gear score, I think, as not a end-all, be-all. Like, once I get 600 gear score, I'm the best in the game or I'm done and there's nothing else to do. I think this is just more of a preparatory phase where we're getting ready for the next batch of content, which the way that this is paced could be coming a lot sooner than we think. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to take a little bit of time, kind of share this with you. Uh, again, I wanted to make sure I did the research ahead of time and tested this myself. Uh, and, you know with the guild and stuff so we can actually get some some hard proof instead of just throwing some facts and figures at you that we heard from somewhere else without even verifying so again just wanted to make sure so anyway guys that's all I wanted to cover today if you guys got any questions comments concerns definitely let me know in the comment box below and I'd be happy to assist and we will see you guys in the next video peace